back in early September, I had awoken from this dream, and while I knew I was in my bed, I could still hear the dream going on, almost as if the audio track was still happening. And it almost felt like I was in some sort of stadium, some sort of concert, some sort of college lecture hall. And there was this voice that was speaking. And instinctually, I grabbed this paper and pen and started writing down what the voice was saying. And I may have shared this with some of you before. I don't remember, but I'm sharing it with everyone now. It's a poem, and it's called A Message for All Those on the Path, slash, for the ones answering the call. We are the change we are searching for. It's no surprise we're having a hard time finding it. Like a trick question, the answer's inside. Some, like me, have high expectations we're trying to erase because they limit the places our mind can go. And we know this isn't a race to conclusions or to exclude any info, but like a kid on Christmas, our impatience can sometimes take hold. But no worries, we're all human. We are youth in revolt of the old ways, clearly keeping us chained to the ground like slaves to a didactic, socio-political, religious segregation. And sometimes I forget that change brings about growing pain. Do you know how much force it takes for a flower to sprout through the ground and pavement? We are growing every day, and that's scary to some, leaving many parents and others to wonder why their children aren't driving on the same roads they paid to pave and ride on. It's because we have our heads higher in the sky and beyond. Roads are antiquated when you can fly, dropping the gas pump, replacing it with light, trying for a better, brighter future for nature as our guide. Don't get me wrong, in the long flight, there's going to be lonely, low, dark parts in the timeline, but I find comfort in knowing I'm going with my own flow and my own ride and no one else's, because then I'm not myself, which is where all our pride should lie. Not on material wealth, but on health, body, and mind. <laughs>